affected by the CS as well. That EG are actually farming quite well. The fact that like Artor has got like 33 and 2 right now, and that was a dual lane pretty much. Like Z Freak only rotated one time to the bottom rune, and it doesn't really feel like it. The, the lane is supposed to give him that much farm. Mid lane, EG looking to kick someone off here. He's just hit six in the jungle. He comes straight in with a roar onto him. Artor's there as well. They'll take down the tiny and the force hands came back. Uh, I just wanted to mention just fear the fact that it, it was to a push. And they're going to have to worry about like five man Oda at a very early state. Now, granted, they have Tide Hunter, but Steve Freak is is going to be level six in uh, in due time as well. Tide, I could be in trouble. Here we go. They're ready to make the breakthrough. Art's easy. Coming in with the clicks. There you've got fear as well, and I think Primal Roar is just about to be available, and there it is. It's come off cooldown, he's going to use it, wants to secure themselves the kill there, and they will find it. Lim coming in with a combo, onto fear, can he bring him down? Oh, not quite, fear will survive, Arteezy just picking off the R on the back lines, it's a double kill for Klinks. Zafreak comes in, but EG looks to get away with this one, fear, he's going to try and juke this out, Lim coming into the tree line. Oh, fear, oh, he's juked him, fear. He's, he's, he's still going to die, though, he's still going to die, Lim comes across with the avalanche. Fear, unfortunately, could not get himself out of that. Oh, he's under yeah. Nature's wrath. He says, oh, so I'm not letting you have that. That damage is completely insane. Like, Io has extremely, uh, extremely low base armor. It's actually not even one full armor point. It's 0.9. And against the Klinks, who pretty much hits for nothing but physical damage, hurts a lot when you don't have anything uh, around to help you out. So, nice kill here. Rotation towards mid. EG looking to potentially dive. Dyer's top tower. alive here with the cold embrace, but they're going to be a matter of time before they close in for more. They'll jump in onto Jesse, getting caught out by the stun. Samel jumping forward with the remnant. That's going to be two down, but they do lose our tour here. Limp in a bit of trouble as well here on the side of complexity, but he's got the backup of Bio. Now Fear, he's going to be the one on retreat. Swindles gets the gush out. They'll get the toss room. Fear will go down, so complexity find two in return. In the trade even. Maybe you'll see if they can chase for more Samel. PPD, they're on the way out. Drums will be popped. XT, he looks like they won't quite be able to catch him here. They do have to blink up on Limp if he wants to jump in onto PPD and he will. Jump straight onto the line with the combo. PPD. PP dead. The Samael will pick up a handscan. Be another one for one. A couple of supports dropping in return for each other. Trade stand even there on that one. This is the stage where Complexity are going to start to have a bit of momentum. They still haven't really committed a Ravage to a team fight, and I think in some ways that's kind of a good thing, because now they can pressure the Tier 1 in the safe lane and make EG react to them. Looks like they're going to go for the trade. Uh, that tower was quite low, so Universe just makes his way back towards middle lane, secures that. And with the Blink Dagger on Limp, this is the stage in the game where like four out of five members of EG pretty much instantly die to that combo. And that is a very scary thing to think about. The male, he's got himself an Invis rune, and this could be big. The Arteezy's there as well, but Complexity, they're coming in full force. Straight away with a combo, Arteezy going low, and he's gonna get taken down. It's a mega kill streak for Lim. Samael going forward with the remnants. He's looking for Hanskin, but Hanskin turns across him. He's just basing him in. Complexity, they're going for Samael. They're gonna find it. He's out of mana and out of luck. He throws a remnant out, but he can't jump to it. He's got five stick charges, but it doesn't matter because Samael is down. Double kill for Limp. And Limp was tiny at the moment. It's getting out of hand and out of control. Yeah, on top of that as well, you put Tranquils up on Aya. So a little bit of extra regen to help out the tiny if he can keep himself nicely behind back of the fight. Universe, what he did, he's building onto his Ags, wasn't So 1700 away from the Agonims. Universe will be able to keep the pressure on globally and keep the lanes pushed in. Question is, the later this game goes, who, 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 who's draft do you favor? I guess Complexity have got the beef with the Tiny and the PL, but EG, the Amber and the Nature's Prophet and the Clinks, they've got the route potential, but PPT. No mercy for the man there as Complexity jumps straight in. Fear wants to be a bit careful about hanging around as well. Ken, he's got the full army here being sent onto him by Fear. Him jumping up, just seeing if he can find the Beastmaster himself on the back of it. He'll clear up the army, looking for a bit of free gold. And uh, in fact, well, he might find a bit. That's a jump stun to Fear. Now with the Manta, now the Gush from Swindles. Fear has been taken down. Coming a little bit close to the fire, and Limp will punish that. That was a really nice Manta, actually. He manta mid roar animation, which pretty much killed Fear. He, gets back. he was pushing down the bottom. Universe was just chilling up the top lane, getting the pressure in there. Going, guys, just I've got this. Let's keep it cool. Some mail. Oh, that's not cool enough, Universe says. And some mail. And out in time. They can actually fight this. Uh, universe is like, come on guys, let's do this. Let's go in. Go for a bit of fun. Arteezy's there as well, but he has been dusted. Oh, no. He'll have to put the BKB there and have to, he'll have to run. 
Oh, it's easy, not quite. Getting himself in a position where he counts down to fight Lim. Oh, he jumps in, gets the avalanche onto Simeo. PPT comes forward, stun onto Lim, holding back the tiny, but Chessy jumping forward here with the doppelganger. PPD trying to suck the illusions off, but Lim, he's gonna almost certainly jump back in at the same time. There's a roar onto Swindles. They're holding the tie back so he couldn't get in with the blink ravage. PPD looks to still die though, so Lim will jump forward with the doppel and himself. Kill, so the godlike now for Lim. This is Asia. Try and look to do some more damage to this tier three. Uh, they're losing the eye at the moment on complexity, but it's a quite a huge factor in terms of Lim being able to get in and front line. It's gonna force the forts out at least. And okay, just popping the ult there on Tart's easy at the same time. PPD with a ramming from the side. The finger on to free the chains and the side of fish bring us a freak down load. He'll corner breaks himself. There's a roar to lift. Easy continues to fight this one up and they'll take down the tiny. There's a buyback from Hanske, but he couldn't keep Limp alive. Now EG, they're keeping it cool on the sideline. Swindles hasn't got the mana. Walking in with 34. He's got ravage, but he's got nothing to cast it with. Zumail might still go down though. Complexity, they get the kill onto the Ember Spirit. Now the rest of EG will get themselves out of there. A little bit of a mess there, losing the Ember Spirit, not something that I'm sure was part of the plan for EG. But Relocate. it did cost the buyback of two on Complexity. If they find Universe as well, that buyback is certainly going to be worth it. Limp moving in, Hansken, allowing them to chase down. PPD gets the stun off. PPD trying to take down the... Oh! oh. He had Hex too, re relocate man. just in time. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh. To join any push from EG and EG are gonna hold back. You can see Universe, he's eyeing this up, he's he's trying to get himself in position for the perfect one, and there it is. Comes in with the teleport, the finger comes through. There is a rabbit, oh. Oh, oh, he's looking for the travel around and he's taken down two. Lim's going just in time. Universe trapped in the trees. He's gonna almost certainly go down as well. Complexity! Burn that one right on his head. Yeah, they lose top four though. They're gonna need to get more kills here. Do they have any detection? No one's carrying dust. Oh, it's on cooldown, okay. Askin already used his dust. So. Eyes on Limp and Universe. As you said, he's picked that side. They hit some to Limp. Limp trying to juke it out so he has a chance to link way back. Oh. He's gonna jump straight in. The Avalanche up. One to two. Will the comes out of the wall. One to Limp's mail turn up as well. And they'll take down Tiny. He has got the AG. He's gonna be there for round two. Io still juking out of the tree line. The slider fist will catch him on the tip of Swindles. Coming up with the Shiva Scar here. Throws the catch out to BBD. Limp, they'll take down the Universe. And now they're gonna try and continue to fight more complex. He's the mail. Popping out the slider fist. But it's not enough. He melts as a buyback from Universe. Now TG pops the BKB. Falling low. Trying to get himself out of the sidelines. The illusion is still following him here. Z3 is gonna continue to chase him. Universe, he's brought back from the ravage. Straight to the face of the Fury. And he's down for 80 seconds. A dieback from Universe. PPD gets the blink off just in time. Lim, he's there. He's on point. On top of PPD. Lions dead as well. Triple kill for Chessy. There's a bit of pressure going on in the mid lane. But a complexity taking that. But as you said, the damage was already done there on the top lane. Well, they got the tier 3, but they, they saved the Rex. That's the biggest thing. As soon as they saw uh, Arteezy, they probably just were under the assumption that Oh man, if we kill him, we can just end the game. Like, if they kill him, he barely had enough money for buyback so after the fight. He's gonna be alright at the time being Swindles. He doesn't have a Ravage, but there is an Avalanche to mail. He gets caught out, can they take that freaking oh. out? The damage is too much! 70 seconds there on this is mail. That, that's not great for EG. They're, they are going to have the rest of the team up to bind the time, and uh, they should be able to hold on for 60 seconds, but they do not want to be giving away kills like that at this time of the game. Yeah, he definitely stayed way too long. Like, in this type of game, when you see the input... Uh, let's see how much they can do. They've still got a window of 35 seconds. No Ember Spirit and Complexity. They want to go in hard. Straight down the middle. They're onto the tier 3 limp. A couple of snaps, that tower's gone. 25 seconds. It's a good opening for Complexity. They're trying to do as much damage as they can. PPD coming out of the stun. Chessy gets himself in, forcing the line back. There's a hex onto Lim, but he really doesn't kill on the back lines. But Arteezy's coming with a sentry down. He's caught out by the avalanche, and Arteezy's dead. He has got buyback available here on the clink. So Emma's going to be back up in less than 10 seconds, but they may just lose the mid racks. And Complexity coming in, and they're coming in hard. They'll get the full set of racks in the mid lane. Arteezy's going to need to buy back, and he will. He comes back in with the Spirit. What can they do to stop this? Complexity still sticking around here, looking for the new second set of racks. The stun from PPD. Catching out limb, but here we go. Will the winter gets on the universe? Oh, PD killing Uni, and now there's the ravage. Universe is down, no buyback available. The other nation's promise to mail with the slider fish, then with the raw onto Swindles. But Swindles already got the ravage off the coin, but keeping him alive. Fear being chased out by Chessie. There's three dead, there'll be a buyback from Fear. But Universe and PPD can't get themselves back into the fight. They'll lose a full set of ranks on the top lane. The slider fist found from Samel, just not enough to hold back complexity. And this is looking rockier and rockier here for EG, Andy. Like we. Sentries are being popped here, so I know they've got eyes on our tour. 
That's all. He knows that they're doing here. He'll keep himself back and stick with the team. He's mid lane racks exposed. They'd love to make it a bit more even across the board, EG. A limb. He's gonna get the stern off onto PBD. The roars there onto the tiny, tiny. Falling on him, falling flat. They'll get the kill. Limb down, but he'll buy back straight away, getting himself into the fight. The PL moving across onto Lion. PPD will be taken down. Still some else popping out of the slight abyss. Not quite enough to bring down the PL here. And they will pop themselves back. That will be that, but they managed to get the buy back out of the tiny there, so I trade that EG will be happy with. It's a small victory. Get some damage on the base, make the buy back. Oh, did it die before he saw Tiny? He might walk into it. There's the second Hawk. Now, the initiation, the ravage comes through. It will catch up to PVD and Samal. Caught out Samal. Gets out the slide. Can he get himself out of this one? He'll throw out the round and he will be able to get himself out. At the same time, RTG trying to man fight up against him, but it's just not working. They've lost PVD. They've lost Samal. Samal will buy back straight away. Try and get himself back in. They're looking for the kill onto Swindles. Fear held in place here. And in fact, his own unit's just going to work onto him. Fear now out of mana. Swindles healed up by the cold embrace. Chessie will take down a third one. That's three dead is a die back on Samael and Good that's game. game. Complexity have done it. They've taken the first game of the series against EG and Swindle says more like easier. That was a really impressive performance. Like even if you're not a fan of Complexity, you have to watch this game and be like, okay, they definitely came to perform. Especially Limp. Like this guy went completely nuts this game. I gotta say like him and obviously, there was a lot of really nice plays coming in from Seafreak as well, with good initiation using the Winter's Curse. Cold Embraces were on point. The way they played this game, they knew exactly what their lineup was meant to do, and they executed, man.